Hello, my name is Persephone Abbott, and I'm the author of a comic novel called Idle Opportunities. What novel with the title Idle Opportunities would be complete without a bad romance? In my novel, the main character, Cynthia, begins a love affair with a married man. She's living in Paris, and she's intending to move to the Netherlands. I will read an excerpt from the novel at the point in which Cynthia has returned from the Netherlands, where she's starting her new life, to wind up her old life in Paris. She meets with her lover, who is a man of short stature. In the beginning of the novel, they start out their romantic relationship, meeting in quite luxurious accommodations. And during the course of the novel, the accommodations become less luxurious. Busy these days, I asked Ayn Yakov's attractive face as he stirred his coffee. I was in court. His face barely moved a muscle. Am I to take it that you have a lot of business there? I queried. Eh, Yakov explained. I got into an altercation with another driver. He coughed dryly. Oh, I got a little carried away and headbutted him, most probably from a low angle. Yakov turned to me and pointed at a small bruise on his forehead. Cherie, he said. I didn't want this summer in Paris to ever end. Savoring this moment when my lover turned to look at me gravely, but with warmth in his eyes and a smile playing in the corners of his mouth and called me an endearment because he didn't want to repeat my name aloud too often. The bad romance of it all took my breath away. I own a chambre de bonne in the ninth arrondissement. I was renting it out, but it's empty. It's on the eighth floor, no elevator. I could tell there was more to the story and experienced a flashback about a friend who was offered an apartment overlooking a significant patch of green in the city center if, quitting her job, she would become an official mistress and spend her afternoons waiting for the chauffeur to deposit her lover for the cinq à sept. The former tenant overflowed the shower, so I had to take it out. There's a communal toilet, though, on the same floor. Great news. I wasn't big on chamber pots. I can let you have it for a good price. A good price, my ass. I'll think about it, I said.